Welcome back to another edition of... Who am I kidding? I haven't made a video in ages. But today, I'm going to give you an overview on how to connect to and program a Daystate electronic air rifle. Let's rotate the camera down here. Now it's going to be upside down at first, so I'll have to cut this frame and flip it over. Here we've got the Daystate Red Wolf. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit for you. Uh, that looks about good. Just a little picture. The first thing you need to do is remove the battery, pop open this little latch underneath the grip. You're going to want to carefully pull out your battery. Disconnect the wires. Here's a little tip I learned from Tom Adams over at Tomcat Air Guns. You've got your battery, you take a piece of heavy duty packing tape with a string in it, wrap it around there and make a nice little tab. So when you're pulling out your battery, you're pulling on the tab and not on these delicate wires. Thanks, Tom. Next thing you do is remove the stock with an 8mm Allen key. Now that's a bolt. Uh, still in the picture? Yep. Okay, there's a little cover here. Gotta remove that to reveal the motherboard, the electronics. Take your battery and reconnect it. Then you're going to need Daystate's highly advanced programming device <coughs> to connect to the motherboard. Word is they're working on an interface for your smartphone or your computer, but I don't have an ETA on that for you. You're going to take this little connector, connect it right here, pink wire on the left, cycle the lever to turn it on, and press the button. The first thing I recommend is to notate all of your settings. This is really important because no two guns are alike. And if you get in here and you start screwing around with your values, you change something, delete something, you're going to be SOL for a while because your retailer is not going to keep track of the individual settings for every single gun. They're going to have to go back to day state for the original values. I created a spreadsheet to help you keep track of your settings. You have the original values, the original results, for power setup one, two, and three, and so fill in your blank area in case you plan on modifying your settings. It may look a little intimidating at first, but I think it'll be really useful if you plan on modifying anything. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can download it and use it if you like. Here's an overview of the different settings. We have high, mid, and low pulse, high, mid, and low pressure, volts, HS, and LS. Each of these values is defined by a different unit of measurement. The pulse is defined by a unit called US and is directly related to the velocity. Pressure 
is defined by a unit called bit and is related to the bar or pressure in your cylinder. And volts is defined by bits and is reflected in volts. Now HS and LS, uh, high and low, something or other, should always remain the same. And by that, I mean whenever you change the high, mid, and low pulse, you should change it in the same number of increments. So basically, I'm at 3250, 3000, and 2750 US measurement. When you increase or decrease these, they should be increased or decreased by the same amount, say 400. So 400 high, 400 medium, 400 low. And you'll know if you put in a different uh, value, your HS and your LS will change. So this is kind of like a reference point. They should always remain the same. Here's the settings that my Red Wolf came with. You can see that the values for pulse and pressure vary between power setup 1, 2, and 3. Basically, high, medium, and low. Like I said, the pulse is going to define your velocity. And you can assimilate the pressure to a regulator, except this is electronically regulated. The high pressure is going to be the same across the board, 250 bar, because you're always going to fill to your highest pressure. And take, for example, the low pressure. Power setup 1 goes down to 175 bar. Power setup 2 down to 143 bar. Power setup 3 down to 118 bar, which makes perfect sense because you wouldn't be able to shoot your high power setup all the way down to 118 bar without uh, losing velocity or increasing your extreme spread. Without going into too many details, I'm going to show you how to retrieve the original values. Make sure your gun is turned on by cycling the side lever. You'll see the red light. Wake up your fancy programming device by pressing any button. Scroll through the main menu until you find the model you're working with. This is the MK5 setup menu. Hit enter. Scroll down past power setup one, two, three to read save data. Hit enter. You'll hear the gun acknowledge your request. Now this is going to show you all of your values except for the bit pressure and the bit voltage. It shows you high, medium, and low uh, pressure in bars associated with the high pulse length in US. It shows your HS, your LS, and your voltage. This is DSP1, which is power setup 1, DSP2, DSP3. Now to get the final pieces of information, scroll up to the, the setup menu, scroll back to power setup 1, hit enter. You'll see high pulse length, go down, mid pulse length, low pulse length. Here's high pressure point. 925 bits equals 250.8 bar. Record your high pressure point, mid pressure point, low pressure point in bits. Scroll down one more time to voltage. And you'll see 935 bits equals 69.58 volts. You record that and you've got everything you need in case you need to revert back to it. If you want to make a change, Let's say we'll go back to high pulse length, 3,250 3, US. We hit enter, the cursor appears, we backspace to change it, and you put in your new value, and hit enter, cursor goes away, and then you scroll back up to the setup menu, and go to save, read, slash save data. Hit enter again, and that'll save your new values. Well, that's the down and dirty on how to read and program the values in your Daystate electronic air rifle.
If you're gonna get crazy with it, I recommend using a vise, some magnetic rubber clamps to hold your gun in place, a chronograph, and a shot box filled with rubber mulch to do your tuning and testing in a safe and controlled environment. I hope you enjoyed this, and by all means, please notate your original values.